what is up you guys edwin here and welcome back to my channel so today i have for you guys a pretty exciting overused match against michael someone who i actually battled off a discord server so i will say that his team is pretty threatening and pretty scary looking but i'm really not scared of it um don't forget guys to show your support by commenting liking and subscribing to my channel um links to all my social medias will be in the description so in case you guys want to battle me or just give me suggestions on teams and different moves you know feel free to send me a message and let's just get straight into the match starting off i decided to lead off with my shuko as my opponent decides to lead off with his greninja now because it's greninja i did expect him to be the lead greninja set so that's exactly what it is he decides to go for taunt however i do have the mental herb which will allow me to go for stealth props now right here i decided just to stay in because i predicted him to go for taunt again as i decide to go for final gambit and because of that i'll be able to knock down greninja low enough whatever i bring out next with a priority move will be able to knock down this Greninja. So now I decided to bring in my Mega Pincer as I knew that Quick Attack would be the strongest that I could hit him with and it is a neutral hit so as you guys can see this Greninja does go down. So now right here my opponent actually decides to bring in his Celesteela which is pretty big threat because I won't be able to touch it. As you guys will see, I decided to go for a Swords Dance because what's the worst Celesteela could do to me as he actually reveals that he has the Flamethrower. Now luckily this didn't knock me out because I will be able to hit Celesteela for a little bit of damage. And as you guys can see, even at plus two, this return did nothing. And I know that it is resisted, but I was kind of expecting it to do a little bit more. So down goes my pincer as he will get a beast boost in defense. Now, right here, the match will be a little boring and I will actually fast forward this because this just turns into a star. As one turn, he'll go for protect. The next turn, I'll go for dragon dance. He will go leech seed me, which will make him gain all his HP back. And then, you know, it won't be fun for you guys to watch. So I'm just going to stop talking and fast forward. Wasn't that fun, you guys? Now right here, as you guys can see, I'm able to knock down the Celestilo with 1,000 arrows as it was already on the ground, so it will be super effective. Now my opponent decides to bring in Clefable, which is fine with me as I actually have Iron Tail and I'm able to go for the Corkscrew Crash onto this Clefable and knock it down. And honestly, it's so satisfying to see a Clefable go down with one shot. So now my opponent decides to bring in his Tornadus, but it's no issue to me because I actually have four Dragon Dances set up and I'm able to go for a Thousand Arrows and knock down this Tornadus. So now right here, my opponent will bring out his Gastrodon, which is once again, no issue as my Zygarde will actually go for Thousand Arrows and is able to knock down this Gastrodon. Um, one shot. So now his last Pokemon is Mawile and I'm guessing it is Mega which it is as he Mega evolves right here and that is fine with me because my opponent actually misclicks and instead of going for Sucker Punch he told me that he went for Swords Dance so I'm able to knock down this Mawile and that is the end of the match. Mm -hmm. 